How's it going, everybody? It's Andrew McCauley, a.k.a. Kind Beats, here for Drum Talk TV. And we are here with Kevin here at the UFIT booth, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the company and some of the new products that they have here at the 2014 NAM. Hi there, how are we doing? How are you doing? Hi, folks. Uh, UFIP, as you pronounce it in Italian, Union Fabricanti Italian Piatti. So there you go. If you're all wondering what it means, there you have it. UFIP or UFIP, whatever you want to choose, we don't care. We have been in business for over 80 years as a, a cooperative of Italian cymbal smiths. But in that area of Italy, uh, me, for many, many years, we have been fabricating uh, cymbals, going back to gongs, uh, church bells, and going back to the ancient Etruscans, who in that area were making cymbals and, and hand percussion instruments 500 years BC. So there's another company that's a famous date that they kind of talk about. Well, we think we kind of precede them, but hey-ho, check us out. Okay, anyway, this thing that sets us apart is our system of manufacturing. We are the only company in the world that rotocast. And with the rotocast system, the thing that makes a cymbal sound, no matter what cymbal company you speak to, is the bell. The bell is king. The better you cast the bell, the better the cymbal sounds. If it was a Zildjian, a Zebi and a Paiste, because I'll talk about everybody. If they roro cast, it sounds the best. To prove that point, there's one cymbal that we made several years ago that, quite frankly, is unbelievable. I don't know if we can see this here, but this is a cymbal here. This area here has a very, very thick bell because they're blank. Our blank is in a symbol form. It is not a discus that is rolled like an Italian pizza. It comes out looking like a symbol. Okay, right, so, so here we go. But the proof of the pudding's not in me talking about it, is playing the damn things. Play, we say play the difference, and the difference is there. And if you can't hear the difference, hey, go and see your doctor and get him to do something with your ears. Okay, so here we go. Bell. Tonality on that, the note's clean, there's no distorted note that hold the symbol. Many, many, many American guys think this sounds like a 1950 Rich Buddy Rich Azildjian crash. All on one symbol, you can even write it. The pitch does not move across the bow. If you forge press a symbol, this area here becomes thinner, you get a distorted note. So now, why don't you guys show us a couple of the different lines that you guys have here at the NAM show. I mean, to make it really easy for everyone out there, let's refer to Zildjian. Numero one company in the world, biggest symbol company. So everybody knows A, everybody knows K, uh, K-O-P-K, K custom, A custom, blah, 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 blah. Well, we make a version of every one of them in our own kind of way because that's the modern market. So we're attuned to what's going on in the market. I mean, the naturals, of course, here are kind of like our version of a K. So, again, dark, beautiful, sticking definition, but unlike other companies, because of the, the roro casting on these dark symbols, if you have to play clavy, you still get a bell. The bell doesn't disappear with anything else. Okay, it's there. So when you need that clave in that Latin band with a dark symbol, it's there. And everyone. opens up beautifully so natural series if you want to be comparing it like a k dark symbol kind of turkish idea okay uh we of course here we have uh variations on the class series now many american drummers particularly find this we get american guys going wow these sound like zildjians from the 50s and to a degree, these guys have got a point because they sparkle. I can always remember when I was a young guy, and I'm an old guy now, but you listen to Buddy Rich and you go, wow, listen to these symbols. And we think these... Uh 
open up. Very, very rich sound, man. And again, each one. Every bell. Distinct queen, queen, queen notes. So, uh, uh, even the splashes. The big thing with modern cymbals, I feel, there's many companies make beautiful cymbals, but many of them, they, they're dissident sounds. It, when a band plays, they will, cr they will clash against the bass player or the piano player. Because the note's not clean, the note bends. And this, I've seen many a bass player look across the stage at some drummer and go, am I out of tune or, uh, you know. So we've got to remember, we're playing with guys that play note value instruments. So we've got to be in tune, you know. And uh, so question now, where can everybody find UFIT products? Where can they uh, find out more information? Uh, the, the, dealer, the dealerships in, in North America, Canada, uh, are, 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 are becoming bigger. More guys are tuning back in. Yes, we, for a long time we were kind of out the U, the U.S. and Canadian market. We're back. But th in the last few years we've spent a lot of time. Look, we have seven professional ranges. No company needs any more than seven. Everybody every year, well, this is our new XX5734 series. <laughs> you don't want to know about that. You just want when you buy the symbol, it sounds better. So we've spent three years looking at every model and improving on the weight, improving on the hammer, and so that every symbol opens up like the voice, the throat of an angel. These, I mean, if Andre Bocelli played drums, he would use you for symbols. That's the comparison. Do you guys have a site that anybody could go to to check out this? Yes, yes. Uh, www.ufip.it uh, and you'll see the roro casting process being done in the factory. Amazing to see. If you ever get yourself to Tuscany, give the guys a phone if they have time. We don't hide anything. Come and see us what we do. There is no mystique at our factory. It's just hard, hard work. Beautiful, pure alloy and that Tuscan magic, and believe you me, if you've never been to Italy, you got to go to Tuscany. Anyway, <laughs> this flash is very, very famous. Tonality. Uh, now that's a bit of a tune going on there. So if you hear that, there's no, oh, what's that one? You know, it's got tone. The next time you go into a, a drum store, what happens with UFIP, the young guy goes in, even experienced player, and uh, there's that company, that company, that company, then there's, that, there's us guys, and you walk past us. At the show today, the last few days, I have turned heads in bars in LA. I've been speaking to guys, dragging them here, and so many drummers are just going, wow. Come and give us a try and get the wow factor. We'll go across here to some of the speciality symbols that just are breathtaking, breathtaking. You've heard the bell crashes. Some incredible special trainers. We have the bell. Tiger versions, a bit darker. The perfect crash ride. Great bell on them. Cross the ball. I hope you liked. Thanks, guys. If you want to find out more about UFIP, you can find uh, them at right here. Boom. Magic fingers. Follow the information. Until next time, guys, for Drum Talk TV, it's Andrew McCauley. Practice hard, play harder, we're out of here.